Hello there, this is Mr. P. On today's lesson, we're going to learn how to write a newspaper article. Let's get started. There are two categories of articles, feature articles and newspaper articles. There are other types of articles, editorials, book and movie reviews. But in this lesson, we're going to look at news articles. Differences between a feature and news story. Feature story. They are longer and more in-depth than regular news articles. They cover one subject from multiple angles and are written in a more creative, entertaining way. News story. They cover the basics of current events. They answer the questions who, what, how, where and when. News stories can also be creative and entertaining too. However, it is important to remember that both news and features require the same level of research and reporting. Basic Story Outline The best way to structure a newspaper article is A. Write an outline B. Review your research and notes C. Write briefly ideas for the following six sections Remember, this is just a foundation upon which to build your story Now let's look at the elements of a newspaper article Number one, the headline. Number two, the byline. Number three, the place line. Number four, the lead. Number five, the body. And number six, quotations. So about writing a headline. The headline should catch your attention and should summarize the story. Make it interesting. There is a formula we can use. Number or trigger word, plus adjective, plus keyword, plus promise. And this is your example, how you can effortlessly sell your home in less than 24 hours. Then we have the byline and we have the place line. The byline includes the writer's name and the writer's speciality, example, sports, food, crime, etc. Do not forget the date here. Example, John Smith, sports reporter. Date, Wednesday, June the 7th, 2020. The place line instead is where the story begins. Example, Toronto, Vancouver, New York, Paris, etc. So the next step is how to write a lead. The lead is the very first or the second sentence at the beginning of the article. A news article lead is based on the idea that you need to present the best details first. It has to catch the reader's eye and neatly provide the most important information about the article. In the lead, you need to provide the five W's and H, which is a traditional lead attempt to answer most or all of the key questions. Who, what, when, where, why, and how. So now let's look at the strategies for a good lead. First, keep it short, usually one sentence only. Second, if you have something in the lead, make sure you will be talking about it in the body of your article. And third, use words to make it interesting, but keep it short and stick to the five W's and H. Let's talk about the body now. The main news article itself is written from bottom down. In other words, the most important information comes first, with each paragraph giving less and less details after that. In a novel instead, the narrative starts with little information and develops in the end to get all of it. You should answer the five W's and H right away in your body. Discuss them in more detail using quotes. The body paragraphs should be short, just two to four sentences long. The information reported has just happened. So do not explain the history of events that led up to the story being reported. 
The report should be written in the third person with a formal voice. Use pronouns like he, she, it, they, etc. Include imagined statements from people who may be connected with the story. Imagine you had interviewed them immediately after the incident described in your headline. Put your mindset to write as a reporter. Use news, article, report language and create a meaningful news report. So the last point is the quotations. You need to include things people actually said. Quotations add accuracy to the story. Two things to remember. Don't forget to add quotation marks to your quotes. Use reported speech. Like in this example, we had no idea he was concealing a gun. Now let's organize your paragraphs. Paragraph 1. Report on the who, what, where, and when. Paragraph 2. Report on the why and the how. Be more specific and add details. Paragraph 3. Provide a quote from a witness, expert, or participant. Add a sentence or two before and after the quote to explain who the speaker is and their connection to the news event. Example. Miss Carey, who saw the accident, said, It was terrible. Paragraph 4. Provide a quote from a second witness, expert, or participant, following the same format as the previous quote. Make sure you include a quote from a different person. Example. Frank Marks, local high school teacher, stated, The Brampton Fall Fair was amazing. It provided a great opportunity for students to volunteer their time and services in the community. Paragraph 5. Make a final statement to conclude your news report. Provide information for the reader to learn more about the news event. So that's it for today. If you have any questions about this lesson, type your question under this video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I suggest you do. If you liked the lesson, hit on the like button, please, and you may share the lesson if you liked it. Until next time, take care. Bye-bye.